Welcome to Game Snacks, where we like to wear hats. <laughs> Apparently we do. We do, we do. I'm your host, Tommy Swags, and with me is Rickus and Toby. How are you guys doing? Doing good, what doing up? good. Yeah, I know. Swag. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of full. Kind of full, yeah, we just had a super great dinner. Uh, well, it was great for me. I don't know about you guys. It was I good. enjoyed it. It was good. good. Yeah. We ended the, up getting all the same we, burger. <laughs> we did. Mm-hmm. Was it El Hancho or something? El, yeah, El Chancho. 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 Yeah. They had uh, what was it like? It was wagyu and chorizo yep. mixed. Mixed. In the it had like a black bean and corn salsa under it. Queso. Queso, yep. yeah. And then uh, Fritos on top, yeah. which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, it was good. Sweet what potato. Up, sweet potato fries. And yeah, but we all definitely ordered the same thing. It was like yeah. the special of the day, and we're like, Holy I got crap. normal looks, fries though because I'm yeah. not as sweet as you. What was that? Was that was that mayonnaise? Yeah, they, they had this like garlic, onion, chivy, mayo mix, mm-hmm. which uh, was I super hate good. mayo, but yeah. that sauce is awesome. Yeah, it was. It tasted really good. It's good fry dipping. Um, Moe's or Chipotle? I'm going Moe's all the way. Mm-hmm. Moe's knows. Moe's and knows. And, Moe's. and to our audio listeners, by the way, this is the first time we've ever streamed live the recording right. video. So. If you we hear any random interactions, we're <laughs> replying to comments and right. Uh, I'm I'm hosting the Instagram as Tommy Swags. Mm. Rickus is rocking the Twitch and Toby's rocking the Facebook. So so the yeah, comments if you're, if you're listening, we, we didn't all of a sudden acquire Tourette's syndrome mm, over we, the past week, but we did. But Toby Chuckles have welcome the most forces it to uh, for us to not suck live because there's no edits no edits um now you may or may not hear all the sound effects that happen normally but we'll kind of mock through them Mm -hmm. because the audio finish file is delayed from real life kind of like how a group think works right right we 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 group think all of our thoughts together (laughs) and express them Um, ricky's just trying to throw back (laughs) just plug it into our old podcast with a different steven the yonder years Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. So no, but no, things are good. I've I've been here for about a week. Uh getting chill with you guys, having a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh we are raising our electric bill. Raising the electric bill because mm-hmm. I like it nice in that sixty nine degrees temperature. And did you notice Tommy started doing laundry today? Yeah. I did, did do a, Oh I got that stuff in the dryer. You're, you should just have Kim do it. It's my washer and dryer. Just tell Kim to I will oh, tell Kim Do to, you pay the rent? Kim, Kim will Kim, No. Kim will actually <laughs> fold her your clothes. But who got yeah. the washer and dryer? This guy. Uh, group um, thing died. Oh. Group thing died. Didn't we discover uh, that swags was a form of uh, jock itch or something? Yes. Yeah. I am about as annoying as mm-hmm. herpes. Yeah. So, so on with it. Uh, no, we've got a fun show. We on we've got re- it's a review snacks live. So um, I played some Rick and Morty VR. Uh, Rickus played Dead Cell, and Toby played We Happy Few. Dead Cells, plural. Dead Cells. Sorry, yeah. I haven't played it There's yet. There's multiple cells. There mm-hmm. are more than one cell. Mm-hmm. So, not to be confused from Cell from Dragon Ball Z, um, who is alive. These are Dead Cells. <laughs> um, so, I don't know where to go from there. But it's going to be fun. And um, I think we just go ahead and hit in the Quick Bites. Quick Bites. Oh, oh god, the video here is really yeah. good. They're basically getting low budge <laughs> right. snacks right now. This is like, what's going on? Yes, yeah, so I want to point um, out. I love Palakitis's dedication to Batman. It's just yes. It's, it's, you see, died he's, like you saw it. icons, Batman. Yeah, that was from like, Ethan. Eat that was from Ethan. He got from me as a birthday gift, so I had to put it up. But there. I'm just gonna say, Ethan is not. As big of a Batman fan as Palakai is. No. No. But, uh, Palakai has tattoos of Batman. That's true and dedication. Joker. Toby even, has tattoos even as well. Even if you really want to prove your commitment <laughs> to superhero age, uh, Spider Man tattoos, we expect that. Ooh, yes. Yes. Ethan, you need to up your game, bro. So, Ethan, the, um, we the all Spider-Man, know Spider-Man could be, the review Batman. will come out after the game comes out. Logic, right? Logic. We, yeah. we are pretty famous, but we didn't get a preview access. Yeah. But I did get the um, Spider-Man PS4 Pro bundle, 
um, which subsequently comes Waste with all the all the DLC, which I totally just ripped on them for for coming out a week early. But it's okay. I'll s- probably still not play it. I but cannot wait to play that game. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, we're apparently we're in the middle of Quick Bites. We are, which oh, is yeah. supposed to be about Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, they just, oh my There's nothing God. quick about that. There's a, that's a 45 yeah. minute demo. It was, awesome. Yeah, it was a 45 minute full gameplay demo. The game looked amazing. Amazing freaking. My favorite part was the NPCs. When you, when Eric, you just going, put your hands more like this. Over. Over. Nope. Uh, other way. Uh, uh, and then uh, up. Really? Uh. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Well, come on. We're, we're, we're adults. We're adults. We're adults. Are we now? God damn it. Hey, Matt Stone and Trey Parker are adults. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, that when she walks through the city and there's like hundreds of NPCs and they right. all have their own story and they they have the night and day cycle. They're all doing their own thing. That's freaking amazing. I've never seen so many NPCs in a city like that before. And they don't just kind of like meander around like they're on the same cycle like right, in most right. games. It actually looks like they're having rear, H- real hustle interaction. Hustle and bustle. Yeah. Right. They'll bump each other. And uh, like all the choices and the little interactions you make affect everything else. Mm-hmm. But I, I was I thought it was really cool just, you know, kinda like to that point the NPCs interact different daytime, nighttime. Right. Like I love that. It's just like, okay, so it really doesn't say, you know, like, oh, some games might be easier to see during the day or the lighting structure might be cooler to play most yeah. of the night. It really encourages you you're, to kind of interact with the right. environment. Right. So. When you're playing when you're playing like Skyrim and you go to like one of the most populated cities, it is nowhere near as populated as what you see in Cyberpunk. Right. It's like uh this is like a village. This is actually a city. It yeah. yeah. Awesome. In Skyrim there's like four or five people and now yeah. you know. Yeah. And at um, nighttime all the doors are locked. I, unless you're a skilled pickpocket or a lost picker. I just loved I mean, you all know what a huge sci-fi nerd I am, yep. and cyberpunk is one of my favorite subgenres of sci-fi, and I just love how they nailed that genre yep. so much. Right, mm-hmm. and you know, it's people will compare to like Blade Runner. That's the easiest shout out. Probably the most famous cyberpunk piece of work out there. Which visually, there were a lot of similarities, especially to the new Blade Runner in twenty forty nine. But I honestly. I was getting more vibes from the book Neuromancer because in that book it has a lot to do with uh, the biomechanics and upgrading your body with okay. like I didn't uh, play electronics. It or read it. Yeah, and so in that book they talk a lot about like getting your upgrades through the back black market. Right. And so, okay. And and so a lot of that I see translating into this game, especially with those characters right. that you see that are almost. Um, addicted to these upgrades because they have so many upgrades. They're like faces missing. Yeah, it's all right. like machine. They're they're almost like eighty percent machine. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, one of the one, like when the demo first started off, and then she's behind a uh, pillar, and she actually shoots the pillar, and there's like bricks that falls off. So it looks like it's a destructible environment. Yep. Yeah. And, and the ricochet bullets. Oh, yeah, oh my that gosh! Was so like, awesome. Yeah. And then on top of it, I I was a little bummed out that they did have. Um, the homing bullets, but they yeah. follow the target. Uh, I was just like, they were just like running through, just like do do do, killing everything inside. And I thought that was a little much. The ricochet bullets added like a whole new they, aspect to try to hit. The they stuff did around say if, I, if I'm corner. correct me if I'm wrong, but those are like very high tier. You're not yeah. gonna get those until like until right. You shouldn't you also because should. that's game, so much power. They've promoted from the very beginning when they first announced that this is a play how you want game. Mm. Right. So you decide. So if you want more of a challenge, you don't have to go <laughs> yep. after those weapons. Uh, but like you mentioned earlier, uh, with the conversation trees and the dialogue and uh, mission structures, it's I'm almost having anxiety now because it took me a long time to get into open world games because right. I would just have the anxiety of like I don't know what to do next because there's so many side missions where it's like a linear game you're like mission to mission level to level. Right. right. Well, this one okay. They've taken this to the extreme. So not only are there multiple side missions and main story missions, but now from what I've read and watched, the the options of playing a mission are ridiculous. It's not just a like, oh, you could go this way or you can go this way. Right. It's a you could do the mission for this woman or you could just say, screw it. I'm not going to do that for you. you I'm going to sell this part and buy new things, right. which infects the environment. Or I'm going to sell this to your competitor and Ooh. piss them off. I can rat you out. There's yeah. like 
30 different ways you can complete the mission that it's, all change how the story like I hope that like there's an evil does. meter because I just feel like oh, evil style yeah, <laughs> so like I can just go like purely chaotic evil because you'll grow horns and have yeah, flies open world games it's just the best it's like because normally I do really nice guy things in real life and then in video games I am the biggest asshole no well, it's an uh, no, Ricky's how you always play an games a reflection of who you are on the it's inside. Very true. Yeah, I'm very true. Deeply an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. So, I just want to see the world burn. Yeah, this game. I I can't say enough good things about. It. I'm so stoked about. It. Yeah. I've been waiting for an epic. Yeah, it's coming had, out like 2077. It's probably going to be <laughs> an Xbox Scarlet release or yeah. something. But I haven't been this excited about a game since like the early Mass Effect games. You yeah. know, we haven't yeah. had a good. A really solid sci-fi in a long time. Nope. The only thing that I'm slightly critical about, and I hope that's like a toggle in settings, is I notice just like Anthem in this game, when you shoot enemies, the damage numbers pop up. You don't like that? Why? I don't like it. I feel like well, it's distracting. Well, that's because it's, it's, away. it's RPG, RPG. RPG. They that they people like to do the crunch the numbers and. Well, it's not like you're actually reading the numbers because there's a. A thousand little numbers popping up at yeah, one You're time. never going to remember it, Chuckles. Who's your favorite Final Fantasy character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, bu- I bought four of them. Well, they need one character. <laughs> are I, we I, saying inside jokes on air? Yeah, we are. Well, he was on a, well, he was on the podcast not too long ago. Yeah. That's true. His guest, guest yes. host. Yeah, did we talk about so, that on the podcast? I don't uh, know. You guys talked, to, I don't know. We talked about prepping for podcasts. Anyways, the, my point is, is those numbers popping up do nothing to enhance the game for me so yeah. I, I just hope it's something that i can like turn off because i just feel like visually it's you just rather see like a bar drain or maybe or just yeah like a bar over the head yeah or just the blood like i don't want all the like millions of numbers and so in diablo you turned off the numbers diablo is a different kind of game like it's an rpg it's, an RPG. Uh, it's uh it's like action rpg oh, okay like zelda is action uh, rpg do you see do you see numbers in zelda no no <laughs> right um all right just checking the point well, is make sure is, we're playing the same it, this games. is in this game it was much better than anthem like the okay. anthem demo the numbers were huge and they're just like all i just it's a game Chuckles that looks, with you. yeah it's a yeah. game that looks stunning like i don't want to be distracted from the view by all these like millions of i get it but i like to see if i'm getting crits that's yeah. my main my main concern well like have it's, a it's a stat number crit. so you you're like all right cool i'm doing 500 damage i boosted this up okay well i'm doing 550 now when i made this switch it's a little easier to, yeah. to gauge the effectiveness of when you're i get it's an rpg like but that, i would but... compare it to something like skyrim and when you yeah. play skyrim you're not seeing all that stuff like that i'm not looking for like straight up you know, this isn't like a JRPG where I it like need is. to see. No, it it's takes like place it's action in Japan it's in the moment. Like I need, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm either shooting them or I'm not. Oh well, you any comments? Oh man, Rickus or Toby is. Kind of. Yeah, he's doing stuff. Hello, Z Gamer. Z Gamer. So yeah, any? Do we have any? That was kind of it. Well, I mean, I, I would I mean, say... it was 45 minutes, but... Right, yeah. I mean, I didn't really... Even though I know I'm supposed to be an Xbox guy, um, I was just really impressed with the uh, PlayStation Plus games coming out this month. Uh, you're getting uh, God of War Remastered, and you're getting Destiny 2, just in time for the Forsaken, mm. the big expansion that's supposed to redo how so they played you, Forsaken, um, or um, um, played Destiny 2. I'm the PlayStation guy, so you decided to take my stuff because yep. you have nothing. Now I have right. nothing. Now it's going to Avalanche... Well, I mean, that was... We, well, last week was September updates. Yeah, so it's I just played on time but, for Cyberpunk. Um, I mean, you can sign up for Xbox Game Pass for only $2 for two months. What? That's huge! Huge! Huge savings! <laughs> yes, so we talked a little bit last week about their new financing. Yeah, um, some good stuff. Option is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, those are some solid um, free games of the month for PS Plus. Uh, kind of, we've seen some heavy hitters come out because uh, we had four honor on xbox right this past month which uh these are like very, typically the free game is something that came out several years ago right or it's an indie so to see something that has been released within the past couple of years be free that's yeah that's a big change right. so i mean i'll definitely Some download destiny 2 just so that i can see the tile on my screen and then yeah. never play it uh, but, yeah i might play it for like 
Wait, when does Xbox come? Oh, no, wait, it's on PS4, isn't it? I'll just use what? my brothers. Yeah. I'll have a PS4 right now. No. Uh, so, yeah. whatever. Whatever. It's whatever. A, you know, I might try it since it's yeah. free. Yeah. But I wasn't impressed <clears throat> when I played the beta. So, um, unless you guys have any other updates, I guess we move on to the main course. Now, for the main course. Main course. I'm always bad. Like, I can never remember the, the plugins. Nope. Toby does all, um, all Callie stuff. wants to know what are the chances of a live review of NHL uh, 19. <laughs> um, um, if, you, if you buy it for me, I will gladly never play it and give you a review on it because it's going to be... <laughs> we'll live read IGN's yeah, review. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, IGN.com slash games no one plays says NHL 19 Ooh. was a 6.5 out of 10. Well, I think the thing is, is because now, it's stuck true to its nature. Now people can visually see that none of us have played sports <laughs> or where we have. Some of us have attempted and clearly Rick, never got. Rick is, has a sword in the background. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. fight stuff. Rick is <laughs> a LARPer. LARPers don't play <laughs> NHL 19. That's the master sword, sir. Uh, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's. I think there's been like two sports games that I've played and like enjoyed, and it's like Blitz, NFL <laughs> Blitz on N64. And uh, would you consider Mario Kart a sports game? Racing? I mean, they sport. consider NASCAR a sport, so. Wii Sports, right? Wii Bowling? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah man. Perfect games. I'll, true story, I threw my arm at playing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, why Rick, that's why Ricky's the huge nerdy. Is we, today. Play, we play Wii yeah. Tennis, come out with like the knee high socks, short shorts. Sweatband, all for living room activities. No, that's your that outfit me. for any activity. That, is, <laughs> that other than gaming, it's sweatband. I know. Well, I perspire. <laughs> so you need a hand fan. Yeah. Well, I don't okay. want to get that stuff in my eye. But so who's going first on this? <laughs> oh, well, first. We can go first. So I can go me, and then you just wrap yeah, us up. We'll just, yeah, we'll go yeah. down the down, line. Down the line. Um, so it's not as exciting. I've, I've been working on a review for Vampire. Um, but in the meantime, I played through uh, the PlayStation VR, Rick and Morty's whatever VR adventure. It's got a name, but I forgot it. I didn't write it down. True story. My name is not from Rick and Morty. He is not the Rickest Rick. No. Yes, correct. No. He's just Rickest. Yes. I've honestly seen two episodes of Rick and Morty. It's, it's so good. good. It's so good. No, it's and so you know what? It's not even... I like the show. I did. Just I don't know. It's just it? well, yeah. I think there's just so many shows out there that I've just I haven't well, like been binged it or anything. Yeah, but it's funny. So sure. Rick just got me into it, and I started watching it right before season three came out. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, not that there's only three seasons. So yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah, it may never take forever. It make another season. So, it's... but anyway, so Rick and Morty VR adventure PSVR. Um, it's, I always forget you have the VR. Yeah. yeah. I've got Skyrim also. I haven't played it yet, though. <laughs> I really want to. It's just... I'm, so it's you're the now. reason. I'm the reason. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, no, my brother got it, so he's got it. I didn't buy it. But um, I don't know. The It was cool. Like, the visuals and everything looked great for a PSVR game. Um, it looked like being just sucked right into the cartoon. Um, you're basically a Morty clone. And Rick makes you do all kinds of stupid stuff. So you spend the entire game in the garage, and you're doing mindless tasks like That's... pick this thing up, put it over here, turn this thing this way, and it's a series of coordination mini games uh, to progress the story. That sounds terrible. And it's like playing a job simulator. It's like, oh, all right, well, now on this thing, you've got to turn this thing, pull this one down, crank. Uh, you're just doing this all with your Wii motion sticks. And it's like, oh, cool. Every game is practically the same. They had some yeah. cool stuff where you could, like, reach through a portal. And you had some, like, good mechanics. I would say the mechanics are probably the only good thing about the game. Um, you would have to, like, <clears throat> make a... Um, you had, like, your me sinks that you could summon. You could, like, hand them stuff, and you they would mimic you. And you have to, like, pass stuff around. So the mechanics worked pretty smooth. Um, same thing with, like, throwing. Uh, you had a few things where you had to, like, throw a me sinks in, like, a certain spot. It was pretty good, but it just was a series of repetitive, repetitive, repetitive mini games that were menial tasks. Like, clean the porn off Rick's computer. 
And it's just, <laughs> you're, you take your little joystick and you move over, you pull the trigger, grab the mouse, you move the so mouse around, click, <laughs> click all the X's. It seems like it was a money you do, for that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then you, you online shop. You know, online shop on like three of the four activities. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. You it know didn't, what? It, it didn't kinda, take long to get through the game, but. You know it what it kind of sounds like to me? Is it kind of sounds like, and this this has kind of been my fear with VR in general, and I hear there are some good VR games out right. there. I've, I've played but a few to me, it good. sounds like when like the Wii first came out. It's yeah. like there's this new peripheral, and so everybody's got to jump on, and it's almost like you're forcing a game just to like use the right the mechanics and, and they're not actually building a good game behind the mechanics right and this is not a good game behind the mechanics it yeah. was like they wanted like a it's like you're basically playing through an episode of rick and morty where half the time rick and morty are gone like they they just fly in a spaceship and leave and leave you with some task you have this wristwatch where it gives you hints on what to do and that's it and i was just like seriously it was full money grab just to say Let's throw some, you know, we've got a basic game mechanic. Let's throw a Rick and Morty skin on it yeah, and so throw in a bunch like, of jokes. And yeah, it was to, so... To <sighs> take it back on what Toby was saying, I think right now the technology is just not there. Right. Or there's a need for it. Yeah. So the these people who develop games for VR, it's just... It's in, still in demo stage to me. Where all it's very these, gimmicky. It's very right. gimmicky. It's, and, like, it's very shallow. And there's, there's some that bad. aren't bad where you just can interact in 3D worlds. Um, like I've played a few like rail shooters that are really good. Some some like the robot simulator games are also really good. The exploration stuff like it's fully immersive. Like you have like your earbuds in, and so you hear the sounds from everywhere. It's very easy to get lost in it, and you feel like you're in the world. Like it, like they did a good job on the immersion, but the game itself was so garbage. I so, feel like um, there's two genres that are good for VR in its current state, and one is horror. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, there's so many creepy games. Pornography. Uh, pornography. <laughs> Those are the only two uh, things well, as that we are We almost good for made VR. Rickus demonstrate with a <laughs> yeah. microphone. Yeah. 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 Uh, I hear Pally so, likes the um, got, got VR for just the Pornhub. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Burn. Uh, isn't it but, like if you subscribe monthly, they give you a free? Oculus Rift. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. They're like, if anybody so, is willing to pay for this since it's all free, mm. here's mm. Oculus Rift. Right. So we got the Rick and Morty VR. So we'll I'm, I'm giving this a weak sauce. Yeah. I've, I've, I'm usually fairly generous with games, mm -hmm. but I got so bored of it. It was painful. Painful to get through this game. It was its only homage was that it felt really cool being inside the game. Looks great, but it it lacked story. It lacked just gameplay. The base mechanics were good. That was about it. Yeah, and look, it was just. That, I think that's our first week sauce. First? Yeah, no, that's a I've full some week sauce. I just can't remember. Yeah. It was it, a full for on. For those who don't know, our review system is based off of wing sauces. Because I love chicken wings. So, uh, since we're game snacks too, yeah. so wing sauce being the weakest. Weak sauce, not wing sauce. Or, yeah, weak sauce. And then awesome sauce being the, the highest best. You can And get. with mild, medium, and hot in between. Um, Pally confirmed that ultimate white cream is where it's at. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. I regret saying this out loud. <laughs> um, I'm glad no one's typing inappropriate stuff. Man, other than my niece. niece. But your niece? She wasn't just saying inappropriate stuff. She was just. Tell her to go to bed. She did. She signed off. Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a time when in everybody's life when they need to learn. Oh, David's watching us, my brother. Oh, you um, have a brother? I do. Seven of them. Yeah. Ten. No, oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Two one of six. Mm. So we need to off a couple. Hello. Of them oh. To balance but, out. All right. So yeah. So we got Rick and Morty VR. We don't off. waste your money. I rented it, so oh, I don't yeah. feel as bad. But I came so close to buying it, and man, I'm glad I did it. What <laughs> What about your niece, Ricky? I don't have a niece. Oh, whoa. Actually, a, I just saw a video he sent my mom, and my mom shared it. doing the work. Uh, Amelia was <laughs> trying to escape, but she was doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. She was almost like a like worm or baby seal. Yeah. She was like, the, You have multiple nieces. Yeah, well, this well, Amelia, David's uh, daughter. Right, yeah. right. So, um, all right. So, yeah, are we on to Rickus? Yeah. We're on to Dead Cells. This one, Dead I'll, Cells, multiple. Yes, multiple. Plural. Plural. <laughs> plural. Um, so 
Dead Cells to me was like a Dark Souls meets Metroid meets Castlevania. So Metroid being like Super Metroid, regular Metroid, or like it 3D was, Metroid. There were the like, is this is a 2D scroller, 2, 2D scroller one. Okay, okay. And the reason why I compare it to Metroid is because the the type of weapons you get and stuff like that, and you can get like a long range or short range. Uh, Castlevania because of the type of monsters you can kind of fight. Bug um, demons, yeah. And, stuff. and then um, Dark Souls because when you die, you lose all the cells you collected. What? What? Uh, yeah. what? Are they like blood mm-hmm. souls? Yep. I mean, what did I say? Cells. 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 No. Blood cells. Blood cells and set blood souls. Uh, get your cells. David souls. wants to talk about Diablo 3. Sorry. All right. No, I'll David take over. I'll here. take this yes. over while you give your review. <laughs> I'm very distracted. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anyways. So, when the mechanics of the game are very, very uh, Castlevania-like. So, when you're going through, you have like a slash and a dash. Um, and you also get like a sword, you, you can pick up a bow, you can play at traps. And um, uh, what's also cool about the weapon system is you don't actually get the same one every single time. So when you die... What? Yep. So you can pick up a different one, but they all feel like they're unique. They're not the same weapon when you pick it up. So it's like you have you can pick up a broadsword that has like frost on it. Okay. It's, like, it's almost like that game Rogue we played too. Where okay. Like, you, it's, like every spawn you have like right. a different ailment or something. Right. Mm-hmm. So... And so that's just one part of it, where the when you're dying, you're constantly losing your cells, trying to get it, but when you make it to the end of the level, it's in your bank, and then you can use that for your upgrades. So if you make it like two levels without upgrading, does it build your bank? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, but there's so many different upgrades. I haven't beaten the game just yet, but I'm very close. Uh, but the but you there's so many different upgrades you can get, um, like power ups and <laughs> stuff like that. Um, it's almost this turn. What? So progress doesn't. Uh, when you die, you don't lose pro- progress, just the weapons. You do like, lose progress, you lose the cells. And that's what you use to level up. That's what you get. So the cells are your form of level up your experience. Mm-hmm. So, but, I mean, if you've experience already spent, spent, if you've if you're spent expected, cells, then, no. then, then you, but right. you keep your level. Okay. Correct, correct. Okay. And so, um, I was, lost my train of thought now. Um, where was I going? Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm trying to remember where I was pick, picking up here. So... Oh, so when you are um, when when you're doing upgrades, they have like these um, different types of upgrades that you get that are uh, you can only unlock once you get a specific weapon. And so some of them um, you, you have what? Why are you laughing? Sorry, he's making faces at the camera. Dude, come on, man! I was patient with you, you dick. I didn't say anything. Yeah, you. <laughs> Tommy just likes looking at himself. I do. Oh, I, I, I can see. I can see. I was trying to make so, sure I was an instant. Anyways, footage. so um, so yes, yeah, so there are certain unlocks that you don't get by just putting experience into it, and so you ha- you have to wait to in order to progress. That it's like a little tree, um, but uh, the so that's. That's the mechanics and the level, uh, the progression for it. But the pixel uh, the art style and the music are really done really well. It's um takes it back to the retro style, but it also has this unique spin on it. It's like the like the neon colors in some of the mm-hmm. levels, and the music reminds me a lot of Castlevania too. Okay. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, I mean overall, it's just if you if you're into. Uh, Do you think I would like it? Oh, definitely you. Um, you I don't know, are you into uh, scroll uh, side scrollers there? I like, yeah, I mean, I like side scrollers. I played like Owlboy. Okay, and, I think and you some would like this too. Games. It's, uh, I'm not into, I wasn't as big into like Dark Souls kind of stuff. And I also, did I hear this correctly? Is it procedurally generated? No, no, no. I said the, the weapons um, that you pick Just up. Just the weapons. Right. Okay. The weapons that you pick up could be a different weapon. You can get a crossbow when you, when you first start out because when you yeah. die, you basically spawn out of a different cell. So you're like mm. you're not the same looking character all the time. You have this oozy looking head that um, pop. It's hard to explain. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah. yeah, I like the art style. I like side scrolling games for sure. And I just said uh, I thought boss it was fights uh, too. They have like these giant things you're fighting all the time. I mean, I I think the art style is really good. Awesome. Yeah. But it's, for me, I would give this game a hot sauce. Hot yeah. sauce. I, if we had a hot sauce mixed with awesome sauce, it'd be in between there. I, like, I really like. I really enjoyed it. It's like a hot okay. sauce point five. Boom. Mm-hmm. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. Well, you know, so we had sounds a, like he might a check hot it and a half, hot and a half spice, a weak sauce, and now we got a hot Toby and a half. sauce. Or are we making up? I don't know. Ratings it's now. Hot and a half. Yeah. I mean, that game has, just has a lot to offer. I mean, you can get a lot of replay value, so that's why 
I would give it such a high rating, and even though it's just like a arcade looking game, but it has a lot Sounds of. Sounds like a Switch game. How much was game. it? Yep, I, I, it's like twenty bucks. Wow, that's not bad. That's a great value. Great value, <laughs> huh? Thanks for selling huh. it, Tommy. Yeah, no problem, guys. Oh my God. Yeah, David's asking inappropriate questions. Mm-hmm. What's Steven eating? <laughs> Do you guys think that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're such an idiot, I swear to God. <laughs> he, he literally is the dumbest of your brothers. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> So, um, moving was, on. Uh, but he, he, we have a fan has a question your snack here. Yeah, well, why don't you tell us? Well, tell us well, we'll get to this yeah, during game snack. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be during snack, snack of the week. week. All right. So, Toby, go ahead. Tell us about We Happy Few. Um, I know you signed up for like the early pre access for this game, like on Xbox years 360, ago. like, two like years ago. Eight, eight years ago. Was it that long ago? And I think it was about two years ago. I was living here when he did it. Yeah, oh, really? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, almost two years. So, um, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a while for you, but now it's fully released now, right? Fully so, released. Fully released, and the game's garbage <laughs> that you even bought a little figurine for it. Yeah. Um, I. I'm gonna like we. I talked about it a little bit in previous podcasts, so I'm, I'll try not to repeat myself. But Impossible. yeah, I, it's yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. This is one of those games that I'm trying not to rave too much about because this is actually the first time I've ever written fan mail. Whoa, you wrote fan mail for this game? You wrote you I, wrote a fan I, snacks. I I wrote a fan snacks to Compulsion Holy Games hell. who made the game. I sent them an email because I just like. As uh, as someone who's done, because this game has kind of a long history, and they did a Kickstarter, they did crowdfunding, they released the trailer at E3 like two or three years ago, There's a, and everybody got stoked about it, they had that cinematic trailer, everybody's like, what's this game, reminds me of Bioshock, blah blah blah, and then it was in early access, um, and they went through a lot of patches in early access to finally like being bought out by Microsoft. And being one of new, one of the new like Microsoft Five Studios, which right. is a huge deal. Yeah, and releasing the game, and I don't know. I just, I think what it was is like during early access, I was a little disappointed with the game. It wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, I was a little bummed out, uh, and so I kind of put it to the side and didn't really touch it. And then I played it a couple more times when they did updates and they right. fixed some things but I still wasn't like stoked about it and then at their final release I am seriously just in love with this game it's just an awesome game so as an artist who's done multiple crowdfunding campaigns myself like I understand like what the the risk is that you right. take putting yourself out there getting people to fund a project you're passionate about like taking criticism and a lot of motion, so I just think it was cool to see them go through that process and then put out a super awesome game. And I enjoy it when I get emails saying from people saying how much they like the music and the things that I've done. So I just thought it'd be cool. So, so you've never wrote Nintendo? Mm-mm. I've well, because I've always assumed that nobody's ever going to read it. But since being that this is a newer development team, they this is the second game they've ever done. I was like. Maybe they might actually. Did you send them a photo of yourself? No. Oh, like no. naked? No. Oh, I wasn't going that Or way. what about a picture of Rickus in the bathing suit? Mm. Um, I did want I to. One. Oh. <laughs> we can make one. I can photo impose your head on like a bikini. <laughs> oh, God. That's fine. I can do that. Like the. Yeah. Um, I, even go there. I have an app yeah. called Facebook. No, I, would, no, I was thinking a, of. I was yeah, why are you picturing Rick? He sized me up. He saw that. Right? <laughs> no, I was going yeah, to compare it. Everyone saw you do that. You're you like, like it, what yeah, year was I did that. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Ran as vice president. Sarah Palin? Yeah. No. yeah. Do you yeah. remember the pics of her with like, the machine gun? And yeah, she's yeah. like an American flag. That's what we do to Rick. Oh, yeah. Anyways, It'd back to games here. Back to games. me up. I feel violated. So hot. So back to games. So yeah, they changed. A lot of things. They fixed a lot of things. Um, super awesome game. I the best way I can compare it is a lot of people are doing the Bioshock comparison, which I don't really see. Other than the like dystopian <laughs> themes, um, I don't because people compare to art style. Can, can but, we back up for a second? We so some people don't know what game you're talking about. I had a question here, so okay. We Happy Few is a new game that was released on. Xbox and Lean PC, in a little bit. right? 
Xbox and PC. I don't think... It's not uh, Instagram. Oh. Is it on Switch? No. No. I, you're, I believe, are you sure you're playing it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I believe I don't know if it's on PlayStation, but it's it was an Xbox early access and it is on PC okay. and it's a they released a trailer for it year years ago and basically it's the game takes place in Britain like post World War Two okay and it's is dystopia the right word is basically they're trying to create a utopia but there's dystopia is usually when there's giant, laws when the government has fallen and, and it, yeah it's, it's so basically it's the the idea is it's post world war ii people there's like chaos happened in that war people did things that they regret or just they've seen things that they don't want that they want to unsee and the government invented <coughs> this drug called joy and Ooh. so people take like bliss basically huh. and so people take this drug to forget the terrible past that just happened okay. and um it's very stylized and i would almost say people compare it to um bioshock a lot but i almost get more like fallout vibes it's okay. kind of it's like because fallout took place in the u.s but it's kind of that era but in britain Okay, and so it's it's got a lot of British humor. Uh, all the accents are British, and, but everybody wears these masks that okay. they're white like masks, so faces. they have smiles on their face all the time. They take this drug to to be happy and forget about all the bad shit that's happening around them. Um, and so that's this is how they're moving on. But there's groups of people that refuse to take the drug, and they're called downers. Ooh, and they basically like Debbie Downers. Yeah, and they live in the areas uh, of the city that have been destroyed from war and haven't been rebuilt. And so it's almost like the slums. Okay. So what are the mechanics of the game? What are you doing in the game? So in the game, uh, I haven't beaten it yet. I've put probably about thirty hours into it. Okay, so it's not just um, like a quick little indie game. No, it's it's a big game. Okay. Like there is a lot in this game, and you're not just bad at it, right? No. Okay. And so you start off as a character named Arthur, who is, he works at a newspaper censorship place. So their job is to take, remove all of the bad news so nobody ever reads it and they only read good, happy news. And you stop. We can do that. Yeah. And so you stop taking your joy and you remember your brother who you left at a train station when you were young. And so you, you basically realize that all this life you're living is just fake and false and you're trying to go find your brother reconnect with him and so that's sort of the storyline but the the gameplay mechanics it reminds me a lot of skyrim like it's first person the way the uh side missions work the way your skill trees work it's kind of rpg you right you get skill points when you complete quests um and your skill points go into things like uh, sneaking better, uh, taking, being, like, people, one cool mechanic is people will attack you if they notice you're not on the drug. Right. They, they, if they notice you're a downer, they'll attack you. So you have to do stuff to keep you inconspicuous. Game, TJ said your game is trash. <laughs> TJ is trash. Where's Gary? TJ Where's doesn't Gary? play any games except for the worst game Ooh. released on Xbox or PC. <laughs> yeah, it can't even be called a game. Um, can we find out how to get TJ moderation? A moder, um, a moder, um, I made him one earlier. Yeah, today. If the week we so we can perma ban Dave. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, hold on. Let me type into the mainframe. Thank you. Or, TJ, you're getting uh, mod power here very soon. Boop. Well, that's also how Google this is all stuff our audio yeah. listeners will not be able to connect with. It's all right. Well, they need to watch our live show. Um, if they want to see a bunch of ugly dudes, that's all right. We all have hats on. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, right, I got so super sidetracked here, and you guys are asking me in depth questions. I'm just going to skim to the top. All right. So, to me, as I was trying to say from the very beginning, oh, it's, really? It's to me, it's like a mix of like Skyrim. You know, Fallout, Fable, it's got the British comedy like Fable mm-hmm. and uh, like the dystopian themes of Bioshock. And 
the gameplay is awesome. Like the story is great and unique. The art style looks great. Definitely looks better on the One X. Hmm. Um, hey, I have one of those, by the way. What? Yes. So you should get the game and try it out. Yeah, it no, doesn't no. sound like he's just gonna leave it in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's hooked up and playing Netflix right now. <laughs> wow. You've played, how many times have you played Skyrim? You know, your old Xbox just played Netflix, I have, right? I've played <laughs> Skyrim. Well, I haven't played it on Switch yet. I'm about to play VR. But I've played Skyrim. I beat it on PC and Xbox twice. So, so four times. You would like this game. I'm uh, telling you, the I gameplay might. is like Skyrim. It's just got a cooler like atmosphere and cooler story. Um, my only criticisms of it is the saving is a little weird because you can save whenever but i've noticed times that if i've died it didn't even if i go back to my save it like takes me to the beginning of the mission and not in the middle where i saved it um so it might save your progress as far as collection and experience maybe maybe but you restart the mission yeah and the other thing that I noticed is <laughs> I thought, I didn't realize, but apparently you play as multiple characters. And so I beat the cam- the Arthur campaign, and it started me as the girl, his friend, to go through her story. But the thing is, is it starts your stats over. And so kind of like what we said with Far Cry, it's like I felt like I spent those 20 hours leveling up this character. And finally, when I unlocked all the cool perks, the game was over. Right. And, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. You know, yeah. And then when I start with this girl character, I'm basically starting from zero with perks. And I'm just like, it would have been nice if they kind of let some of the unlocks. And and I kind of get it because each character has different skill sets, but there's some that are similar. So it's like, let some things translate over so I'm not, right. I am not don't feel like I'm starting a new game, basically. Yeah. So that, that was my only other criticism. But all in all, I think it's a super fun game. As Ricky said, I've already bought a figure. I'm going to be one of the characters for Halloween this year. Super Nerd. cool atmosphere. And people Nerd. are going to are gonna ask. I'm going to mistake him yep. for the purge. We already know it. Uh, you know, whatever. Naysayers. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Wait, who were you I, last year? Or, wait, no. Well, I didn't see last year for Halloween. Like Clockwork yeah. Orange. Everyone's I like, all I know oh, is I'm trying to I'm re- super obscure Halloween costumes. Game, and you guys just keep going <laughs> off on tangents. If... If this was a AAA title from a super well-known uh, developer, I would probably give it a medium sauce. Mm-hmm. But since this is a brand new developer, I really appreciate all the work that they put into it, and I th- I would give it a hot sauce because I've had a nice. lot of fun. But thirty hours, I look forward to finishing it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you know, from talking to you over the last few weeks, it seems like you really, really do love this game. So much, you decide it's already a Halloween costume, which we're not that far. We're two months away from Halloween. Well, and two, it's unique. But, There's no other yeah. game like it. There's you so dress many, up like, like a cop, you know, there. and you know, just because you look like a cop doesn't mean you are a cop. Yeah. You know. How so many you know, times have we? Rick, he's losing over here. So he's monitoring. Ricky's, Ricky's monitoring our Twitch live stream. Yeah. And he's we're being just, harassed. <laughs> he's being harassed. And uh, I've got the Instagram. Toby's got a Facebook, but uh, Ricky is just Twitch sitting, one, like, and, Twitch wants giggling. To know if they t- if you're taking calls. <laughs> no, not not from those people. <laughs> what were you going to say? I, I, was, I was probably going to say assholes. I don't know. Like, <laughs> what else should I say? But, yeah. So, no. So, we got, what? So, you, about, you said a hot sauce because yeah. it was a smaller game. You even went as much to write, like, a thank you letter to the people. My, that's so retro of you, dude. Yeah. It's such a hipster thing to do. And not it's necessarily thank you, just a, like, congrats on having an awesome Have game. you checked, do you follow them on, like, Twitter and stuff to see if they posted it? No. You should. They responded if, to me, they replied, they said oh, they okay. really appreciated it. Was it email or was it a handwritten stuff. letter? What you should do is just show it oh, to okay. the director. I thought about doing uh, Morse code. Yeah. yeah, just all ones and zeros or something, too. Just the just dots, mm-hmm. all the dots. No, just show it to the director's house. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. oh, yeah. yeah. They love naked, that kind of stuff. Naked, probably. Yeah. Well, you should always show up unannounced naked, like if you're gonna do that. So first, first time car, long time listener. <laughs> <first time. laughs> uh, yeah, we're just. This is why you're not allowed on the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking Diablo three. Last time we had a podcast with David, he got drunk. He did. Yeah. And we had to like cut out the whole thing. Yeah. What was that? That was group thing. That was group thing. That was old podcast. He was at a bar. He was at a bar, and he it was so much home. more intellectual. Yeah, and he got drunk. <laughs> it was the funniest. Anyways, yeah. My friend Benji Brown's watching. Hi, Benji. Say hey, Benji. 
He's, hey, a, this, he's, um, he's a bigger Nintendo fan than I Shortbread am. Shortbread has well, been pretty chatty in the group chat, so thank I you for that. We appreciate battery, the uh, no. the interaction there, buddy. Wait, what are you drinking? He's drinking um, oh, Wellers. whiskey. Wellers? Oh, I did today. Why didn't you make me a glass? Because you don't deserve it. No, oh, that's a good point. Good point. It's my whiskey. I'm um, just here to mooch off you guys, honestly. So anyways. Anyways. So we got a weak sauce, a hot sauce, point point five, five, and a hot sauce. That's a made-up review. It is a made-up review. It's a hot sauce. Um, okay, so that's the main course, right? That's the main honest. course. So I guess we're going to go ahead and move on to the – are you guys ready for it? Because – we're, we're jumping in, unless unless you have an update that you really need to give us. No. We yeah. already cut it. It's cut. Yeah, I got, oh, wait, I, got, I got one Overwatch update. All right, hold on. Uh, well, then let's do it. Overwatch League yeah, updates not, with Rickus. I'm not in oh, the sound yeah. Oh, no. We just, lost, we just lost camera on on Twitch. What happened? Nobody's watching on Twitch. Yeah, they are. That's no. where... Oh. Well, anyways, the point is, Wait a minute. Overwatch is dead. It was not charging it. Oh, well. The cable's not charging it? No, we still have audio, though. Man, we just went blank. Un okay. Amateur hour. Amateur hour. Oh, well. Snack of the week. Snack of the week. You guys can still listen on Twitch. Sorry about that. Um, um, no but anyways, yeah, yeah Overwatch League us, updates go with Facebook or Instagram if you want to see us. Yeah, Facebook and Instagram are still going strong. Um, but yeah, Overwatch League updates with Rickiest. Do, 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 do. Just I didn't play the sound. Just one little tidbit. <laughs> right now, if you win nine games, you can win Diva's Co Nano Cola outfit. That's that's it. Nine games like in a row. Yeah, you can play either arcade, quick play, or. Combat. But if you lose once, you have to restart. Oh no 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 no! no. You just. In in, uh, in general, games. yeah, when, it's, like, oh. it's like a regular arcade. Oh, okay. You know how you win, you win nine games. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. Maybe I'll play. And it. you tried to make me play the sound bait for that. I had to. Diva is my love. Huh. Mm, We're gonna awkward. tell Kim. She already knows. Oh, hey. okay. We have marital problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Ricky ruins his real life. Really I wish I could show fun. the butts. But it's in use right now. Oh yeah, I was, I was like, maybe what? maybe another episode. The butts will make an appearance. Uh, Toby bought me that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's just a mouse pad of butts. Mm. Toby bought that for me. It's all right. I know. I bring it up every episode that I'm here. Okay. So all right. So that was it. That was it. Hey, Win nine host. games. You get, get us back on rails. You get nine. You get a diva skin. You get a, a diva skin. Yep. Cool. All right. Well then, let's move on to the it's favorite limited part. time. Oh, limited time. Nine days to get it or twelve. One of the two. free plus shipping and handling. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. But not like that. But not like that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hit the final segment. Wrap it up with the snack of the week. Snack of the week. We got to add it. We got to add it for this, people. Normally, I would um, thanks for watching. this um, and then just play the real eye bite. Um, I think it's because we hit an hour. Oh, my uh, Just restart it quick, 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 quick. Oh my goodness! This is Amateur just Hour, all avalanche and this. It yeah, is. This Facebook. If you're on, if you Facebook hear us, does Facebook not cut is... you off. Oh, what was that? Yeah, Whoa! Not that. Whoa! Not that. No, nobody Whoa. wants to play this. Not that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Woo! Tommy, I feel like that was for your uh, mistress only. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Oh, God, All this right. is this, totally yeah. embarrassing here. It is. Well, hey, it's good to know. Good to know. That is not a charger on the camera. Interesting. That's good to know. All right, so we're in the snack of the week here. Snack of the week. Our host. Of the week. Okay, I've yeah. cut all of those yeah. Yeah. attempts to vocally do the sound bites. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here. We talked earlier on... Our dinner, we went out to whatever that place, Joe Buck's Burgers or something. I don't want to <laughs> show Buck's. <laughs> and yeah. had like a picture of a cow on it and they had burgers. I think it was called was Jack, it Jim, Brown. Jack Brown. Jack, Jack Brown. Browns. Yep, Jack, Jack Browns or Joe Buck's. Um, either or. Either or is very acceptable. And um, yeah, it was good. But no, we uh, we had a little spread. Um I uh, I guess I'll go. We'll just roll it roll it down the line, right? Mm. Yeah. Because I mean, I mean we has... already ruined snack of the week sure. by talking about it from the beginning. Yeah, but you you've got the fanciest palette, so 
Okay, now the, you the guys, listeners sorry. can't hear it. We're not. We're not making dinner. Wasn't that? That was like our banter. That was like intro banter. Was dinner. Uh, okay. So I had some super killer uh, pork rinds over the weekend. I was at a fancy football draft party, and buddy picks them up from a. Um, it was it the flea market? Yeah, so they're like homemade, seasoned. I know, super sketch. This they just came in out, first dude. around. With pork rinds, yeah. just cut the feet. Cut but bad. they were good. They were so good, uh, so good. So some. I went and bought some. They're not as good. <laughs> so that's my snack of the week. <laughs> they're hot. Wow. They're I was hot. just gonna ask if the pork rinds you were talking about are the pork rinds you're eating right now. They smell, but, they smell so bad, everybody. They really oh my do. god. Pork rinds are like the I lower. A, <laughs> this show. I had a bag of barbecue ones. I opened them up and it smelled like someone shit in the room. It was uh, so bad. Oh my Isn't god. that bag over there? Yeah, the bag's over there. You can't yeah. see it though. The it's smell's screen. already out. Yeah, it's, it's, we're used to it. It's embedded in our nostrils. I don't know how anybody eats those. I don't know. It's, we know tasty. there's no picture. The, the, the camera died, chuckles. Yeah, dude. Pay attention. Pay attention. If you were listening to us, you would know. Go on Facebook or IG, preferably IG, Facebook, bro. because that seems to be working the best. <laughs> so you just get audio snacks. Audio snacks. While we're doing snack of the week. All right, Rickus, what do you got? Um, uh, Bugles. <laughs> <laughs> For those listening, he just lifted his bag. <laughs> he just sh- displayed his... I don't what know. kind of bugles did you get, Rickus? Not <laughs> Are you doing a commercial for Bugles? <laughs> this is the word. Rickus. <laughs> or audio and visual. You have to speak and show. This is the stupidest. I mean, I have Bugles. <laughs> That's it's all I can like say. Every... He has Bugles. Did you have now, anything else this week? Now you can visually see how boring Ricky's snack of the week is. <laughs> Each week, because he usually he's like, my snack is I had M and M's or I had trail mix. What am I supposed to say? Everybody knows what M and M's taste like. <laughs> yeah, well, talking about the flavor. Did you stick them on your fingers and make them into nails and then eat them all? I, I think the like, problem is, is Ricky's so literal, yeah, and yeah. we shouldn't have called it snack of the week. We should not. Uh, so E.T. Ricky- Goldberg <laughs> says on uh, Instagram that Rickiest has the worst snack of the week. Yeah. See, Tommy, even though, but even when Tommy picks a snack, a wing of quotes, the week, these are quotes, <laughs> he still like goes into, okay, well, the dip had this and this seasoning in right. it, and I used it, and he goes, and Ricky's always like, I had bugles, I had trail mix, <laughs> I had ice cream, what, you gotta what sell I, it. What am I supposed to say about bugles? Sell, well, what if, what if we've got a listener who's like, oh man, I've never had a bugle before. <laughs> you don't know. Don't judge their life. They may not have grown up in the 90s. Oh, whoa. See the picture here? People don't know you have to put them on your fingers. To right. Eat them. Hold on. There's only one way to eat them. Take one. Put it on your finger. <laughs> so you look like you have witch claws. Witch claws. <laughs> or kitty claws. Whoa, that was kitty claws. That- that was kidding. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Now we course. know the t- noise Tommy then, makes when he's in his furry costume. Oh, God. Please don't put that back in the bag. It's, yeah. It's gone. Just it's in my your, mouth. No, don't your finger. Because it was that uh, gross. Oh. So, I made it off my finger, bro. No, you didn't so, put your whole yeah. finger in your mouth. I saw it. Thanks, E.T. But I'm saying you could describe what awesome the flavor snacks. of Bugles you He does got. not have awesome. He picks wings every week. How's Delicious it? chicken wings with different yes. flavors. Yes. With different dry rubs. I've already said if different Tommy flavors. does wings again, I quit. It's dry rub. Oh, I'm doing wings it's next week. It's a dry week. rub of It's a guarantee. Week. I will find a new wing. <laughs> and, a new, and a new co-host. <laughs> I bet this E.T. Goldberg guy would co-host. E.T. Goldberg yeah, is the worst. He's a Jew. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, well, he's, my, he's my cousin. I'm Jewish, too. I can say that. Uh, okay. Let me preface right. that. Well, so. if you, yeah, you, you <laughs> got to make it very clear that you are, are not that group. We are not anti-anything. It's anti-Semitic. Yeah. Hey, except you guys are anti-me with wings because yes, wings are awesome. Because, you, because the snack of the week is supposed to be, it's called of the week because it implies well, because that there's something new I have a new different kind of snack. No, it's the same. Like, no, I it's like the wings. It's like talking about chips. Like, oh, I had this kind of chip versus that kind of chip. You would say I can only ever have a chip well, once. Yeah, no, but if you if every week you said you had chips, then that would be an issue. Like we make fun of Rickus for not having real. Oh, Dave is siding with you. Look at this. Yeah. We did make fun of Rickus for the having pants. granola Wait, too many times. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Over, tucked behind the belt. Um, um, yeah. See, 
Traveling man likes a good dry rub. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not reading the second he's part, not but I'll read on anything. <laughs> I'm just not reading the rest of his right. statement. Over the pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, right, so Rick has had he new had goals. <laughs> this is the worst. And see, and this is why you have me on the podcast because yeah. you two. Are trash. Sure. We are trash. <laughs> and you get bugles and pork rinds. So I, I'm the sophistication. So for today, my snack, I've I started off with my Weller's whiskey here. The Weller's which whiskey, which is a very smooth tasting whiskey at a very affordable price. Can we mute him? <coughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, Paired up with that, room. I got a nice batch of. Seedless grapes here. Ooh. Black seedless grapes. You don't want grapes growing inside your tummy. <laughs> then, I did cheese, salami, on crackers. But did I spare any expense? I did not. No, what kind of cheese is that? This is a me- aged Mexican cheese, similar to a goat cheese. Oh, okay. And it's been aged in Kentucky bourbon. What type of animal did you milk for that? Um... <laughs> Being similar to a goat cheese, it would be a goat. Well, you said but it's similar. not a, whatever. It's not. It's just. I don't know if there's like another cheese. animal that were similar to goats that you milk. It's like an aged goat cheese. Okay, I would and like it's to try one Kentucky of those. bourbon. Oh, there you go. No, thank you. And then, well, yeah, I want I want you to finish telling me about everything before. <laughs> okay, and so you underneath finish? that is salami, and it's a southern style Italian salami. Ooh, southern. And they're style. all sitting on top of t- little mini toasted baguette chips. All right, let's 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 see how pure his palate is. How pure the palate is. <laughs> is yeah, you can't really... The salami you can't really chew through. You just gotta pop the <laughs> no, whole thing. No. In your you just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Oh, you gotta preface it. It's a good salami. But it's a little salty. It's mm. got the nice... Uh, the cheese is Jesus. almost more... Mm. It's a little sharper than I like. Sharp. Like, it's almost but like... But it's got a really good flavor. Yeah, it's kind of like a sweeter Swiss. Mm-hmm. To finish it off, I got a piece of brownie from the brownie batch that I make that I make with dark chocolate brownies with coffee in them, and then I top them with an assortment of coffee and peanut butter M and M's. No, I did take off a lot of the peanut butter M and M's on the brownies you made. To eat or just throw them away? Just to eat the. It's not really like coffee, mm. but. No, was, I do have some, a bag of peanut butter M and M's. I know I found them, um, and so I quit picking them out of the brownies. <laughs> but no, no, that's good. Yeah, Toby is clearly the more refined one of us. Um, <laughs> I got bugles. I got, <laughs> I got bugles. <laughs> you didn't even tell him about your sweet raspberry tea you got. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh! You went hey, shopping specifically for this. Hey guys, it tastes like raspberry tea. I don't know what to tell them. What am I supposed to tell him? Oh, God, you're the worst. <laughs> this is like, I like a you plain say, hamburger with no seasoning. You could say it's a Turkey Hill. It's a it's a smaller company that makes Small a, batch. a, I a nice, it. refined I raspberry tea that you can find. I had no idea stores. about them. Just oh, rather because I like raspberry tea. Make it tea. up. Yeah, I don't know. See, do you uh, think any of these I'm people don't have the stuff that we're talking about? I'm very authentic. I don't, no. People why? don't have Google on their phones. They'll uh, never be able to find There's out. no way these people have a ability to fact check anything oh, we say. damn. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. It's, it's 2018. <laughs> Information is nowhere. <laughs> mm. This tastes like nachos. Nachos? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bugle? What? Guys, I had M&M's. <laughs> they, they didn't melt in my hand. But they did in your mouth? Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Or Ricky, do you want that? Yeah, no, you want I'm good, try I'm that? Would you like some of Toby's meat? No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you said that. I had enough salt for one day. <laughs> All right. Well, mm. that was my snack. So. Mm-hmm. Well, now well, I'm eating. So Our host has a full talk. mouth. Well, a mouthful mm-hmm. of meat. Oh, my gosh. Are we... What's, what's going on here? What are we doing? We're rap banter. Here, you gotta share you. where you're from. Oh, rap okay. banter. So now we're in the outro here. Oh, the outro. I would have been lost without you, thank you. Right, right, right. There's really only one more part to the show. I've been doing this for nine months. I didn't know. I, did, I was lost. I thought we are going back to Quick Bites. 
The video has really thrown things off. It here. really yeah. is. I thought like, it man, took us from like a we were almost at NPR levels of sophistication mm-hmm. with the podcast, and now we've kind of dropped. Now it's cheap thrills and potty humor. We're basically girls oh, gone shit. wild, but with no girls oh. going wild. There are mm-hmm. rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, where can we find you? We'll start at that end with Toby. No, I was gonna do my thing. Go ahead, Rickus. Rickus.com. Right. Rick, the underscore Rickus. Did you talk into the microphone? No, uh, they can hear, hear me. Okay. The, wow. I'll Rickus out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank Rick, you. Rick, Rickus out. Yeah, you do. So now you guys can see me do my peace out sign. Oh, he does that. No, you give him a thumbs up. Hey, so they can see it. Not like the microphone is. Do it like you used to do in every picture. Squinty eyed. So nobody can see you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Toby underscore TND, T zero B I underscore TND. Hmm, or uh go to the nearly deads.com. Actually tonight at midnight we are releasing uh, our plugin? latest. He's plugging. He's well, plugging. Plug-in. He's plug-in. The- We're gonna release our latest music video tonight at midnight. Toby is the guitar player for the nearly deads. Yeah. Not to be confused with nearly all right, right. Almost, almost alive. alive. Almost yeah. alive. Well, that's kinda like you know, we're we're barely dead, you know. We're still yeah. hanging on. Still, like one still heartbeat. not almost alive because almost alive would imply that you're dead, but almost alive. Right. Nearly dead is you're alive, but almost dead. Yeah. Correct. We're on the constant verge of just breakup and. Right. <laughs> so um, new video. So new video tonight. dropping tonight. YouTube. Oh, I'm YouTube. in there. With, YouTube.com. I'm in oh, Rickus is in that, and these guys I'm didn't in call me. I was free. I could have come, what? driven from Atlanta to Nashville to be in this video. Hey guys, I'm I'm no famous. call. I'm famous. Swags denied from the music video. There's a reason for that. We want I'm wings. sure of it. We didn't need wings in the video. I was going to bring wings for everybody. <laughs> we didn't need it. Yeah, you did. No, we did. All right. So <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram at the Tommy Swags and on Twitter and the, the other places. Um, I'm mostly on Instagram. Check us out. Uh, if you didn't watch us on one of our 18 different platforms, um, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, all at Game Snacks Show. Um, and then facebook.com slash game snacks. And we also want to live in the group, uh, facebook.com slash group slash game snacks. And it was a lot of fun. I, I like being on camera, making Ricky awkward. We had a lot, we had a lot of, um, requests that you move to Tennessee so we could do this all the time. Yeah. And, uh, properly plug in the real camera so it doesn't die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, amateur so yeah. hour. Amateur we hour. We needed Ivy here. I know, we need someone to just be ready yeah, to go. Yeah, it's the thing about it, he's just hard to work with. He's a, he's a yeah, Madonna. He's, he's, he's a prima donna. He is a prima donna. Prima donna. He's very like, oh my God, yeah. you gotta do things. Yeah. He's usually just like, you know, looking at treasure maps. I told you not to put your hand back in there. Oh, my other hand. Yeah, you, I don't believe you. Oh, oh, that one with the crooked finger? Yeah. <laughs> crooked finger. Oh, man. I'm out of here. Mm, 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 mm. This is the worst day of the year. Yep, all right. Well, cool. Let's run, guys. We're going to head. We're going to fade out. Fading out as I stand up and... Yeah. Feel. Okay. Okay. It's not working. (laughs) Uh, You're still going. You're still on the other. Oh, my God. Game over.